new little surprise here at the Walmart, which I grew up in a small town. So this is about the hangout spot for people between 12 and 17. They hang out right here in this parking lot. But it's in the morning right now. It's coffee time. So they're not here right now. So I'm going to go in and check out a little new, new product on the shelf today. So that's what we went to Walmart for right there. Cold brew from Black Rifle. I've drank a lot of other brands cold brew and basically just want to try it. But anyways, Hunter has a different kind of idea for today. So you talk us through what we're going to do. All right, so this, we just got an email. Yep. The schedule came out. But you have not looked at it yet. I have not. <clears throat> I've heard, um, obviously, a couple of speculative places we might go, but I don't know anywhere officially that we're 100% going for next year. So, the schedule is out. Completely out now. Live. So Hunter is going to read where we're going. So I, I need the place we're going. If it says the ramp, mm -hmm. I need it. And I don't then, think it's gonna say that, probably. Okay. It well, might say the town. Well, okay, well, I, well, I'd like to know which area of the lake we're going out of. Okay which lake and then the time of year is also very okay. very important so okay give me that i'm gonna give you kind of my rundown on where the Bassmaster elite series is going this is actually next year so exciting is it yes also you're okay so for the past four, have you looked yet i just looked at the first one and it's exciting yes okay because, okay this is exciting for a, a different reason though mm -hmm. okay every year for the past four years we have fished on kyle's birthday we are not fishing on your birthday okay we're not, not even close to your birthday the first tournament is the 22nd. Of January? February. February, okay. Yeah. That gives us more time, way more time. Cause usually we're- Yeah, we're we've, scrambling. So we've been in Florida every single year, the last week of January. Yeah. Every single year, yeah. so we've been on the elites. Well, we're not going to Florida. Not Florida either. No. Okay. <clears throat> Are you ready? Yeah. Toledo. Toledo Bend. Okay, what town is that? It says- Manny, Manny. 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 Yeah. So I, I don't even think about Toledo Bend. Literally nothing. I know there's big ones there, real big ones. Have we ever been by there before? So when we go to Sabine River, Toledo Bend's the next lake up. And that's why the fish are so big in Sabine, is because they're right below oh, gosh. Toledo Bend. No, you're joking. No, nah, Toledo Bend's actually really, really good. Okay, also, guys. Does it feed into there? Yeah, it goes through Toledo Bend and then out Toledo Bend and then down to the Sabine. Yeah, but so you cannot comment any information or specifics. You know, obviously now that the schedule's out, I cannot get any information on the lakes we're going to. But <clears throat> what you can do is comment down below and let me know. Cut the hair or leave the hair? Because I'm leaning towards cut the hair and get a fresh start for next year. But let me know what y'all think. Do I got to leave it now since we did what we wanted to do? And the schedule's out. And the schedule's out. Do I have to leave it? No. Or do I get to cut it? So comment down below if you're on the cut gang or the leave it gang, you know? So let us know. All right. So there there will be, I guess, there will be no off time from Toledo Bend. I'm going to go straight to Fork. Okay, Fork. What time of year is that? February 25th. <clears throat> I'm just going to say this. Lake Fork is... Let me think about this for a second because so I don't want to say. 29th. I don't want to say anything too crazy. I believe Lake Fork is my least favorite tournament lake I have ever fished. Yeah. It's hot. It's, it's like by far, by far my least favorite tournament lake we've ever been to. What about the Tennessee River? No, I'd rather go there. Really? Ain't no doubt. 100,000%. I'm not scared of a grinder. I'm not scared of a grinder at all. If we weigh in three bass, we just weigh in three bass. But <clears throat> Lake Fork, I just, it's got big ones. Lots of big, big, big ones. Like obviously the weights there are phenomenal. It's fun to catch them. I've caught big ones there. You know, I've had good finishes there. Caught big bags there. But for a tournament, I don't, I, I'm not a fan of Lake Fork for a tournament. But 
Are they going to be right. on death that time of year? February 24th. February 29th. I don't. Or 25th. 29th. Oh, no, they won't be on bed then. So Toledo Bend is going to be early, pre-spawn. I don't know much about it. I'm going to have to go start doing some research on Toledo. It's going to be a lot of offshore grass fishing, I would assume. Little hard spots on points and timber and stuff like that. Chasing bait, maybe. I don't I think it's going to be a mid-depth kind of a tournament, depending on where, where the water level is at. Lake Fork is going to be a straight cold water timber tournament. You know, it's just probably what it's going to be. You might catch them off rock or road bids or something, you know, in that mid-depth also. But I think it's going to be a lot of that timber. Old jerking timber going to be the deal. And probably them first two. So we got two hardcore forward-facing sonar tournaments for the first two, without a doubt. Like 100% <laughs> them forward-facing sonar derbies right there. I guess they're not banning it. No. Okay, right. so <clears throat> it's kind of weird we're not going to be starting at Florida. We start in Florida every year. Yeah, but it's good for diversity. I would actually like to see some Tennessee River, Chattahoochee River, Coosa River, February tournaments. Like, I, I'd like to see it. Like, Tennessee River, February, March, dude, they bite. They really bite, you know? So, I would really like to see that. But, uh, you know, All right, we'll so go to Texas. you'll have a, almost a month off, and then... But that's the classic. The classic will be on Grand Lake. Yeah. In Tulsa, Oklahoma, at the midway or end of March, like March 22nd, 24th, yeah, March something like that. 22nd. So we got the classic in March. So from Fork to the classic, we got three weeks off. Yeah. All right. And then after that. Hold on, hold on. I didn't even process this at the time. We obviously have a leap year. What does that matter? February 29th uh -huh. is the last day of the tournament, right? Yeah. No, it's the first day of the tournament. First day of the tournament. Okay, oh. so we have a leap year this year. Yeah, I didn't even That's think about crazy. that. And I was like, I was sitting here thinking in my head, I was like, from February 29th to, I was like, hold on, there's not usually a February 29th. All right, okay, then April 11th, Harris Chain. April 11th, Harris Chain. Okay, that's gonna be, I don't know. That's a long break, kind of. It's a long break. Not a long break from the classic to Harris Chain, though. We get back after it pretty quick, you know, mm -hmm. right after the classic. So we will have like a week off a week or something. Off. But so Harris Chain, April 11th. That's going to be interesting. I think they actually bite way better in Florida in April than they do when we go in February. Like from what I know about Florida fishing, and I've only ever really fished there much in January and February, but pretty sure those are the worst two months of the year. Pretty sure like they bite better the entire rest of the year than they do in February. And that's when we usually go. So April should be good, should be warmer, should be able to catch them how I like to catch them. Should be some, I mean, definitely hair chain's gonna be a forward facing sonar tournament, like 100%. Okay, this too. is gonna be a little bit different. <clears throat> we usually go here at the beginning of the year, but we're going in okay. April. Okay, we got St. John's. St. John's. All right. April, so back to back, after Harris Chain yeah, on it's St. Like, John's. There's no break. St. John's. That's how the first two are, too. There's no break. Back to backs. Yeah. There's no break. But this schedule is like more compact. Like we're done before the end of August and we start at the end of February. Okay. So it's going to be a super short season. Yep. We're going to get it in. Get yeah. it in quick. Okay, so St. John's. So we got Harris Chain April 11th. That's going to be, I mean, they'll be shallow, brim spawn, bass still up shallow, feeding. I don't know what the shad will be doing. I have no idea about Florida that time of year. St. John's, <clears throat> more of a river system, pretty tidal. From what I know on tidal fisheries is they like to hang shallow a little bit longer than other lakes after the spawn. So when they get done spawning on tidal fisheries, they don't instantly run out to offshore. They like to stay shallow a little bit longer. So St. John's could be really, really fun. I mean, I'm sure it'll still be a, you know, Shell bar. <laughs> there's not deal. any. There's not any bed fishing tournaments. No, there's not going to be any. Don't sound like. I mean, there could be some April in Florida. There could definitely still be some on bed. Hundred percent. Oh, there, there. If I had to guess, I'd say there will be some on bed in April in Florida. Not many though. Not a major wave like it is in late February or March. <clears throat> but there'll probably still be some. So we've got. I mean, so far, it sounds like to me we've got four offshore tournaments. Four facing summer. Harris and St. John's don't have to be. St. John's being titled, maybe not, but it's going to be one of those shell bar, shell bar deals for sure. So we got four offshore tournaments for the first four. And we got the classic 
which is going to be a daggum fourth phase of sonar tournament. So, then you have looking bad for a boy from Alabama. About two weeks off. Okay, so now we're in May. May 9th, Lake Murray. May 9th, Lake Murray. We were there this year in... Earlier than that. Earlier for sure, but we, we were in April, mid-April probably. I think so. Mid-April. So about a month later, should be a, a very pronounced herring spawn that lasts for about 45 minutes in the morning. And we blast off about an hour after, after yeah, daylight. After so from, we're gonna blast off at seven. The herring will be spawning good till about 6.55. They're gonna be bass just blowing up. When we take off. Well, y'all get a show on the takeoff. <clears throat> you can get a show on the takeoff then. Oh, we'll be sitting there just waiting to blast off and they'll be just blowing up right beside us. Yeah, I just, I'll just be like, if I'm boat number one, I'm casting right there, you know? But Murray should be good gonna be i mean that's another one for sure you know i mean you could probably go up the river and get a check but that's gonna be a, it's gonna be a scoping derby there too i mean i would assume there's gonna be obviously the herring spawn is gonna play a little bit or, or maybe a lot i'm not super familiar with it but that's gonna be one that's you know you can catch them fishing my strengths and stuff in the river but you just can't compete with the lower end of that lake fishing you know mid depth off the side of them points tips of them points maybe there'll be some brush play in that one I didn't fish any brush last time we were there, but it could be a brush pile deal. I bed fished and fished for cruisers and herring spawn fish and stuff like that. But mostly about half and half between bed fish and, and catching them cruisers, which are very, very tough to catch. Then you have an entire month off. Okay, so now we're into mid June. Mm -hmm. Okay. Alabama boy might like these next two. Okay. Alabama Lakes. All right. But I don't know if we've ever been there. Okay. I don't think we've ever been either one. Okay. Wheeler. What what time? Is it? The 13th. 13th of June. That's going to be so um, hot. Well, I ain't really worried about the hot, but <clears throat> that'll be one that's probably not going to be one with live imaging forward facing sonar because it's going to be a ledge tournament. I would assume it's going to be just a straight Tennessee River ledge tournament. Could be some grass that play. It's got a lot of grass in that lake. But for the most part, I think they're going to be schooled up, fishing, had to find them on side imaging, and then just fish for them. You might be able to three, see them on some forward face sonar, but I don't think it's going to be a hunt them down and scope them. But. Have you done that before? Yeah, done it on Pickwick when it was there. It's going to be just like Pickwick, 100% just like Pickwick was. Last year. Oh, that's the place that's above Pick or Wheeler it is. Goes there. Wheeler is above. Wheeler's right below Gunnersville. Oh. I think so. I think it was Gunnersville, Wheeler, Wilson, Pickwick. <clears throat> so we got Wheeler, and and then Smith. So Wheeler's gonna be another uh, definitely offshore offshore deal. I mean, so so far, how I many? How far in are we? Six. Mm -hmm. And there's not one that see. I mean, th there's a. Well, the next three is all live scope, so. We have, I mean, Florida is our only chance at being one shallow. It's the only shot we've got at being one shallow. And this not even one shallow when we're there in February. So maybe in April it will be. I, I'm hoping. I'm optimistic. We're going to catch them in Florida it's, shallow. You're going to catch them even if it, if it, even if it, did, if it did, you know. I'm I plan on catching them. I'm just saying like. <laughs> I get, I like, if they're biting a frog or something in Florida, I'll get up. I'll be sitting at the ramp way before we're even allowed to go. But if I got to go out there and fish shell bars and stuff, I'd be like, mm. Bleh. I'm kind of glad that we got two Alabama. That means we can kind of, you know. Yeah, they're not going to be far drives at all. We don't have to drive. Yeah, we don't have to drive far at all. So we got Wheeler How far is that from us? Wheeler's probably three and three quarter hours. I ain't bad. Yeah, close to four hours. That's not bad compared to what we just did. And Smith's probably three and a half hours, four hours. Yeah. So those are back to back. Back to back. So we got Smith there's and a week, There's a week in between, which isn't week, good for everybody Week in else. between. Yeah. It's the 16th, and then the next one starts the 27th. Huh. But at least we don't have to go far. The end of Wheeler is the 16th. Mm -hmm. The last day. And then... The beginning is the 27th. So that means practice is going to be like the 23rd. So you, you mean, that's, that's, that's kind of weird. But, hey, it's all good. It's all right for us because <clears throat> yeah. we live here. 
We're not too far. Where's Smith? Smith is a. Uh, they're they're very close to each other. Oh really? Yeah, like Gunnersville, Smith, and Wheeler's all. So a lot of people close. might just stay. Yeah, I mean, if you've got a long drive home, you should definitely stay. And then we don't have anything, so we're not fishing Honey, on your talk birthday. About Smith. But we're fishing on my birthday. Fishing on your birthday this year. Yeah. That's sad times. Yeah. You better Did... not miss the cut. It's yeah. day two. I'm just kidding. <laughs> So Smith is going to be, Smith could be a fun one actually if you want to just grind shallow. There'll be some up there. Really? Yeah. Smith will be okay. But it's going to be dominated. What is it like? It's going to be dominated. It's like a, it's like Lake Martin, kind of. It's, it's decently similar to Lake Martin. Cranking? No, not in June. It's going to be a topwater deal, shallow, you know, some stuff like that. And then this offshore around bait and school and fish and brush piles and stuff like that. And for spots, for big spots. So that, I mean, <clears throat> by most accounts, that's gonna be one offshore, I would assume. Like, there's a small chance somebody can string together three or four days shallow of good bags, which I, some, some people will do it for one day or two days for sure. But the consistency is just gonna be there offshore. So I feel like I'm kinda bashing the schedule, am I not? I don't think so. Not, because I'm not trying to make it come off as I don't like the schedule. I actually really like the schedule. We got a lot of unique lakes. I'm just saying. It's, a, it's different. It's well, a, it's different. I'm not. I'm not saying they're all gonna be one offshore like it's a bad thing. I'm just saying like. You're just. That's where they're. Gonna, that's where they're gonna be one. You know. So that's just how. That's just how it's gonna be with this. So why can't schedule. you win shallow anymore? Well, it just depends on the lake. Like um, Toledo Bend and Fork, uh, it's almost never been one shallow. Like they just uh, don't get one shallow in Texas very often. I mean, obviously it does happen, but the consistency over four days on lakes like that, it's almost always been offshore. Every time a big tournament have been there. So then we go to Florida and even those, just the consistency of stringing it together is, is gonna be tough. So where are we going next? After Smith. Then you got about a week off. In between Smith, after Smith? Mm -hmm. Okay, we got a week after Smith. All right. Yeah, and then we're headed to New York. Okay. Champlain. Okay. On my birthday. Champlain, mid-August. When was there, there this year? Same? Yeah. Same time? Yeah. Okay, well, so, exactly. <clears throat> well, I mean, you gotta think it's gonna be the same as this year. It could be a little different because the water was very high this year. Champlain is, Done got phenomenal. Are you going really, to really good. No, absolutely not. But uh, Champlain, the water was really high this year, and you would think that helps the largemouth. What it does is it makes it where you can't efficiently fish the grass for largemouth. So it being high this year really hurt your chances of catching largemouth. And it's smallmouth obviously dominated it. Smallmouth are going to dominate on Champlain for the end of time now. They've just done got way, way, way too big. So mid August. Champlain, I would expect to be just like this year on Champlain. So how long did it take you to get to your spot on St. Lawrence River last tournament? An hour, 55 minutes. An hour and 55 minutes no, or an hour? 55 minutes. The, the shortest I ever got there was 55 minutes. Would you fish there again? It just depends on the fish there. Oh, well it might take you a little bit longer this time. Waddington. Yeah. So we're going out of Waddington for sure. Oh man! Are you still going? Yeah. You're still going to the lake? Mm hmm. I guess I don't know. I gotta just see how we get there. <clears throat> so we are going back to Waddington. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. I mean, the check cut's gonna go way down. <laughs> so that's one good thing. I'll stop bashing the schedule. <laughs> I, well, I'm just saying. That's one good thing. Is it's not gonna take twenty a day no more. It don't matter what it takes. It don't matter what it takes. It don't matter. No. But I'm just saying, in past years, it's took 20 something a day to get paid. And it will not take 20 a day to get paid this time. So, <clears throat> but Waddington's cool town. Really good crowds, mm -hmm. good fans. Long drive every morning there and back. But it's a good town as far as the fans go. Um, I just don't know where everybody stays in Washington for the tournament. Like, I don't know. Where do people stay at? All right, now you have to say one good thing about all the tournaments. You have to do a compliment sandwich. <laughs> it's 
<laughs> yeah, like I've been bashing it. You haven't, but you just got to go. So, I am no means talking bad about the schedule. I'm just telling you my opinion. You want to look at it? Yeah, let's look at it. Let's take a look at the schedule. Okay, so, Toledo Bend, going to be big. It's like, eight pounders caught there. Are, they're going to be big ones, but like there's going to be some eights caught. For sure, there'll be some 30 pound bags caught. I would assume Lake Fork gonna be some giant ones caught. Lots of sevens, lots of eights, lots of really, might, really big you, ones there. You can there. get you some Century Club Redemption at Lake Fork. Oh, man. Don't they always have those? Yeah, usually there's usually? usually there's guy there's gonna be one or two. So we got Tulsa, Oklahoma, Grand Lake. That's gonna be really really fun. You know, that's gonna be one that a lot of different things are gonna play. Palaka, Florida, St. John's River. Are you excited about that classic? Um. Yeah. Has it ever been there before? Yeah, a bunch of times. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Like four times, right? Oh, how's it on there? <sighs> Let's see. Cliff Pace won it throwing a jig on bluffs. Before four face on her. Edwin Evers won way up the river, flipping a jig to log jam, root balls. Before third face is on her. <laughs> and then I think there was another one. Maybe there was another. Maybe there's only two. Maybe this is the third one that goes there. Or maybe not. I'm not sure. But nothing that happened before Ford Flex and Sonar counts. Oh. Because it's going to be a lot different this time. So we got St. John's River, Black of Florida. That's going to be interesting. I fished there three times now in February. April. And 18th. it's been cold and foggy. I think they're going to bite. I think it's going to be pretty good. Really? It's going to be more tidal dependent. Because when it gets warm and the fish get acclimated to warm weather, they like that moving water to really fight, trigger them. But when the tide's right, they're going to bite. Can you catch a 10 pounder, you think? Oh, yeah, easy. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. At least two of them? Mm hmm. Leesburg, Harris Chain, that'd be fun. Harris Chain is my favorite lake in Florida. Probably, it's probably without a doubt the best tournament lake in Florida is Harris Chain. It's got the most two and a half to three pounders of anywhere I've ever fished in Florida. I mean, and even up to fours. You know, it doesn't have as many, it probably does have as many giants as Okeechobee actually now. But <clears throat> it's it's really really good. All right, give me your honest opinion. What lake will it be won from? Harris. Harris. Mm -hmm. Harris wins. Harris wins four day tournaments. Like people run to other ones and do good. It's one in Harris. I think one of the most <clears throat> exciting videos we've ever posted is that one Harris chain video from the opens. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. that one's fun. That was cool. Yeah. I drove so far. Pull up on a bed fish, flip to it, bites, break it off. First thing, break it off. I feel like we've been there a lot, but they're always on bed there. It's like they just stay on bed Can there. we go there in February every time? Oh. <clears throat> we've never been there at a different time of year? I'm, I, I like went there. just and, us? No, no. Because we, we go there every year before St. John's uh, or something. It's always in late January, February. So, you know, <clears throat> Wheeler Lake fished one time there. Fished a... Uh, High school national championship and came in like fourth when I was young, and baby, baby Wiltshire. Yeah, I was young. Caught him pretty good though. What'd you do? I threw a frog. Shout. Is that like the dam thing? People go to the dam. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tail race, big time deal there. Big, big time deal there. So Smith Lake, I'll, I'll, I'll get to Smith Lake. I'm not gonna say what I'm gonna do there, but I'll get to fish how I have grown up fishing. In the small little local lakes around here, and it's high risk, high reward. I think I'm gonna probably do it there. You might just walk to the small little local <clears throat> lake, can you? Or is if it I could, I would. Is it the same? No, it's different it's rivers. Different. Yeah, but Smith, I'll be able to fish one way that I have fished a lot, and it's gonna be pretty dang fun if we can make it work. So then we got obviously Champlain, one of the best turn bass lakes in the absolute country. Phenomenal, unbelievable amount of three to four pounders in there. Then we got St. Lawrence River, which is the undisputed champion right here in my heart for smallmouth bass. So I think it's I think it's gonna be a good year, but we better get to work. Cause a lot of these lakes I've never been to, and none of them, except for Champlain and St. Lawrence, have I been to this time of year. So completely different things we gotta get ready for. So Well you can you can pre practice the Alabama one easy. Yeah, yeah, I can pre practice all of them pretty easy, but so let me know, comment down below flow stay or flow go and also no i don't say that i was going to say comment if they're going to be any of them going to be one shallow but I, that might be giving me info so don't comment that but appreciate you guys watching and that's it we'll see y'all now the schedule's out 
start getting a plan together.